what's up everyone welcome to my channel this video is about roll steer in this video you will learn what is roll steer how roll steer can be corrected what is roll center and roll axis and how the anti roll bar prevents vehicle from roll so without spending much time let's start now roll steer is defined as an undesirable changes in the steering angle of steered wheels during rolling action of vehicle body due to cornering or at time of asymmetric bumps Roll steer can cause understeer that is when a car steers less than the amount commanded by the driver or it can cause oversteer that is when a car steers by more than the amount commanded by the driver basically roll steer is the error caused due to improper angle of tire or that is the instantaneous center of tire or is not matching with the instantaneous center of suspension control arms let's see how roll steer occur and how this leads to understeer and oversteer of vehicle Here this is the front left tire this is the knuckle and these are the upper and lower wishbones the axis passing from the outer joint of upper and lower wishbone is called kingpin axis if we extend a imaginary line from the upper wishbone and intersect this with the imaginary line by the lower wishbone we will get instant in a center ic and this is the point about which suspension control arms rotate at particular instant this is the tire rod that is connected to steering arm on one side and to the steering rack on the other side for minimizing bump steer and roll steer the imaginary line from the tire rod should intersect the instant in a center ic at particular instant the reason for this is the same as i explained in the previous video if you haven't checked that video please watch the previous video for better understanding now the intersection of the axis passing from the inner joint of upper and lower wishbone with the imaginary line of the tire rod gives ideal center and this is the point up to which the tire rod should be extended to minimize bump steer or roll steer the reason is the same that to cover the same vertical displacement at time of bump or rolling the tire rod covers more horizontal distance because of short length this is the same thing that i explained in the previous video so the length of tire rod should fall between the kingpin axis and the ideal center at particular instant Now let's see how roll steer is occurring and causing understeer or oversteer of vehicle. Note I am taking a case in which the steering rack is placed behind the spindle. Here this is the same suspension geometry as earlier. This is the ideal center. In the first case I am taking tire rod is not aligned with the ideal center and it is below the ideal center. The horizontal distance by which the tire rod joint is displaced is x. Now when tire hits a bump the tire rod will try to cover more horizontal distance for same vertical displacement as the tire rod is not rotating about the common instantaneous center this will lead this point to shift inwards more as compared to the outer points of upper and lower wishbone this is what happens when tire encounters a bump and this is called bump steer the same happen when vehicle roll suppose this is the top view of front geometry of vehicle now as the vehicle takes a right turn there is the rolling of vehicle and this will cause weight transfer towards left direction this effect will cause jounce in the left tire which is same as having a bump on tire or the compression of suspension strut so this jounce will create the same effect like this and will pull the tire rod inward which will steer the tire towards left direction the case is opposite with the right tire at the time of roll the weight transfer is taking towards left direction so there will be the rebound on the right tire that is the linkages will move down and there will be the expansion of strut so this is the opposite effect of the jounce case and it will push the tire rod outward and will steer the tire in left direction so as the car was turning right but due to roll steer the tires have some tendency to steer towards left direction which will effectively reduce the steering angle and will cause understeer the second case is when the tire rod is placed above the ideal center now this point is ahead the ideal center by distance x when tire hits a bump the tire rod will rotate about this point and suspension linkages will rotate about instant in its center this will cause shifting of tire rod point horizontally and movement of this point towards left direction to reach the ideal center line and this effect will cause steer towards the right direction this is bump steer the same happens with the vehicle roll suppose the vehicle is turning right 
creating jounce on left tire due to weight transfer. This will lead to pushing of tire rod towards left causing the tire to steer in the right direction. The opposite happens with the right tire. During vehicle roll, the right tire is rebound that is the suspension linkages will move down and will cause the tire rod to push towards left direction causing the rotation of tire towards right direction. So as the car was turning right and due to roll steer, the tires have some tendency to steer towards the right direction. It will cause the increase in steering angle which is oversteer. Hence for reducing roll steer effect, the tire rod should be aligned with the ideal center and the length of tire rod should be between the ideal center and the kingpin axis. Now let's see what is roll center. Roll center is the theoretical point about which the body rolls and it is determined by the design of suspension geometry. Note front and rear suspensions have different roll centers. Here this is the left and right suspension geometry considering the car is symmetric about the center. I am drawing an axis passing through the center of gravity of vehicle. Extending the imaginary line of upper and lower wishbone, we get the instantaneous center IC. If we make a line between the bottom center of tire and instantaneous center, the line will intersect the vertical line and the point of intersection is called roll center and this is the point about which the chassis roll. You can see that the roll center is at distance y from the center of gravity position. Now when vehicle steer, it will produce a later force F at the CG which is in left direction and this will cause the roll movement M equals to F cross Y. So if the distance between the roll center and CG is increased, the tendency of roll will increase and vice versa. Note this is instantaneous roll center. The position of roll center will change as the suspension geometry changes while handling of vehicle. As I already told, the front and rear suspension geometry have different roll center. So the axis passing from the front and rear roll center is called roll axis and this is the instantaneous axis about which the vehicle roll at particular instant. Now let's see what is anti roll bar. Anti roll bar is the solid rigid link attached to suspension linkages and it minimizes the body roll at time of fast cornering or over road irregularities. Here this is double wishbone geometry and the red bar is the anti roll bar attached to the control arms of suspension. Now suppose the vehicle takes a right turn. This will increase the load on the left tire and will make these suspension points to move upward. This effect will cause the displacement of point on anti roll bar in the upward direction which will try to rotate and apply the torque in anti clockwise direction on anti roll bar. The right tire linkages were moving down due to roll but because of the torque on anti roll bar this point will have tendency to move in upward direction and this will cause the control arm points to move in upward direction effectively balancing the left and right forces and minimizing the role of vehicle. So this is all about roll steer, roll center and anti roll bar. This much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries, you can comment in the comment box. If you find the video useful, do like it, share it. Also subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and software, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.